Greetings, internets, and welcome back to the Rodiverse. Aaron here, and I continue with my Pokemon Sapphire Nuzlocke challenge. In the last episode, we explored Marvel City and this route just west of it to reach Verdant Turf Town. The main reason we did this actually is so that we could train up our Pokemon since there are going to be a fuck ton of trainers all around the city. North, south, east, and west. There is just trainers everywhere. It is an experience poor point palooza. You can get so much here because of all these trainers that are just hanging around, you know, just never moving outside of the route, wanting you to battle them and just staying there for the rest of their life once they lose. I don't know why they do that, but hey, Pokemon Logic, once again, we must not question it. So, oh my gosh, Wormy is in a bad condition here. I do not want Wormy to die, so I think I'm going to switch out for Yuri while I uh, heal up Wormy, because, you know, Yuri can just be like a decoy or something. I'm really hoping... Uh, um, Yuri doesn't really die in this one. I don't think he will though. It's just level 16 and forget it. For fucking get it. Yuri died. Wow, that was quick. That was a quick death. I guess that was, I guess that was okay, I guess, because Yuri didn't really feel that much pain. He wasn't agonizing. He just died right away. But still, fuck, man. Yuri was like my favorite Pokemon because... It was named after my dog. Holy shit, wait a minute. Is this gonna be like a sign or something? I don't wanna think about that. Shit, bro. I should not have named my, that my Poochie and a Yuri in the first place, because now I'm feeling scared. But I really shouldn't feel superstitious, because this is fucking Pokemon. There's no superstition in Pokemon, except for maybe the Lavender, Lavender, Lavender Town Theory or something. Blah. But forget about that. This is not gen Generation 1. This is Generation 3. Pokemon Sapphire. Actually, I don't really feel as sad as I do about Yuri dying than Tweety because um, Yuri, he really wasn't that much of a use, really. I never really actually used him in battle. He wasn't really an MVP in any episode. I guess there was that one time, I think it was the last episode, where he took out Wally's Ralts all by himself. Of course, his dark type, so has like 100% advantage. He would not die in any way, so... I guess he's useful for that. Anyways, it's still kind of sad though, Yuri. I will miss you. I really hope you can join Tweety in that Pokemon Heaven somewhere in the sky. And I don't even know if there is Pokemon Heaven, but if there is, then good for you guys. Anyways, I don't think I want to let that deter me and my training. Yes, that's what I'm doing right now, guys. I'm not going to take on the gym leader yet. I think I promised that last episode, but psych! Oh, you fell for it. I'm not going to take on the gym leader right now. I'm going to do it in the, in the next episode. I promise you guys that I will do it in the next episode. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to do it now because actually I really don't feel confident still that my team would be able to uh, take on Watson. I think, um, of course, Kermit would be the only one to take on Watson. But hey, look at how I was able to handle against May. Tweety died against the Grovile and now my... Holy shit! Okay, now my outlet just fucking died. Okay. I guess I have to believe in superstitions now. This is episode 13, if I can recall correctly. I lost two Pokemons in episode 13. Wow, that is ridiculous. Ridiculous. I had so much... There was so much potential for outlet, you know. And actually, I think I regret... Um, actually bringing him out here to train with these big guns. Still, once again, I don't really feel like I have to feel too sad because I never really used him. Actually, he was the one that I never ever used. That was his first battle and he died his first battle. Um, I don't know. I guess it's kind of offending to those, uh, Electric fans, but, uh, Outlet, you're, uh, kind of useless. I guess you deserve to die. Let me just see your summary one last time. Yeah, Thunder Wave, Tackle, those are some horrible moves. And, um, I'm not really sure if I'm ever gonna miss you, really, but whatever. You could have been a really good Pokemon. I really wanted a Manectric somewhere in this game. I guess it kind of hurts me now that, you know, Outlet just died, because he was kind of my big chance to, uh, finish off... Oh, no, to, to be able to take on the, uh, eighth gym of this game, which is, I think, Wallace? Yeah, he uses Water-type, because it's Pokemon Sapphire. And, yeah, of course, I know a lot of you guys may be thinking that, of course, yo, what about Rosa Parks over there, man? I mean, it's a fucking grass type. Yeah, no. If you can remember correctly, I'm sure you do. Um, 
what do you call this? Wallace has uh, ice type moves in his in his uh, Pokemons. You know, like Milotic, for example, has Ice Beam. Did you forget about that? Yeah, I didn't. That's why I'm going to uh, not take any chances. I'm gonna go ahead and leave Rosa Parks, who I just remembered was that black girl who was really a good hero to everyone. But whatever. I'm gonna leave her here. I think it was. I think that's a her. I forgot if Rosa Parks was a guy or a girl. This Rosa Parks, not the actual Rosa Parks. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and leave Rosa Parks. My Roselia. Okay, fine. I'm just gonna call it Roselia. I'm gonna call. I'm gonna leave Roselia in the daycare. I guess yes. That feel. I feel like that should be allowed. You know, because um, I caught Roselia in that route. All right, and that's the same route that holds the daycare center. So I would still be able to take that Pokemon back out once it has leveled up, and. There isn't actually any rules anyway in the Nuzlocke saying that you cannot leave a Pokemon in the daycare center, so I don't really feel like I'm, I'm breaking any rules whatsoever here. So I feel fine, I feel safe, whatever. I'm just going with the official rules here, guys. Just this is not like a revised Nuzlocke that like the ones I did in my past episodes. I don't think I'm ever going to be doing them again. No, actually I am, of course, going to be doing them again. I really love challenging myself. I just want to take a break from this Nuzlocke. Anyways, where are we right now? Oh, wow, I remember now. We're in the Winstraight. We're taking on the Winstraight family. These guys whose names all start with W. You know when they said at first that their son or something was like in the Elite Four? Or like in uh, Victory Road? I really thought for sure when I was playing Pokemon Emerald, because I was playing Pokemon Emerald first before Pokemon Sapphire, I really thought for sure that Wallace was like their grandson or son or nephew or whatever that was really because his name started with a W of course that's I guess a lot of people thought of that am I the only one here who thought about that please don't let me be the only one I hate being the only one because someone can, might kill me in a dark alley if I'm the only one anyways let's just um, forget about that let's uh, go ahead and take on this bitch okay I just remembered now that you have to take them on all one by one without any breaks or something. I don't really know what was like the goal of Pokemon in adding this. Is it like one of another one of their uh, miscellaneous shit, weird miscellaneous stuff? Because you know, of course Pokemon is Japanese, and Japan is known for making weird stuff. I mean, of course, to those people who don't play Pokemon, I know for a fact that they are probably weirded out by the new. Pokemons. Look at Meditite. Holy god, that guy looks creepy. How does he not die? Wow. From this angle where I'm viewing it in the preview screen, it really looks like their HP is already down to zero, but they have like an inch less, like one tenth of an inch of HP left, and they survive with that. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. Anyways, I really feel that I don't have any time anymore. I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode here, guys. We're gonna take on Watson in the next episode, so you better check that out. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you did. It would mean the whole world to me if that happened. I'm gonna see you guys in the next one. Cha 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 ciao!